from the USA, and I'm currently living in Chongqing, China, which has a population of over 30 million people. Chongqing is known for its beautiful night views and delicious food. Today, I'm going to introduce you to something that is very famous in China, but is still mysterious to the rest of the world. And that's an alcohol called Chinese Baijiu. Baijiu has developed a reputation of being a spicy, ill-tasting liquor. But today, I'm here to show you how to drink Chinese Baijiu with Jiang Xiaobai's products. Jiang Xiaobai is a fairly new Baijiu company with only a six year history. But within that time, Jiang Xiaobai has definitely made a splash in the Baijiu market with its strategic marketing skills and its youthful products. So, welcome to How to Drink Chinese Baijiu with Jiang Xiaobai. Now, I'd like to introduce you to our master Shifu, Hugh, and Cisco. Uh, the first thing you want to see when you look at a baijiu is the color. You're going to check out uh, how clear it is. Some baijiu's are different though. From the storage or from the ingredients, sometimes it can be a little bit yellowish. And the next thing is the aroma, the smell. And baijiu is classified by 12 different aromas. Okay, so what one's first? This one right here, which is YOLO. And this one here is uh, very special to me. I think uh, this is probably the lightest baijiu in China. And in fact, they actually did a tour around China for 10 cities, like a hip hop concert tour uh, that was sponsored by this one. So I noticed these bottles are really different from other Chinese baijiu's. And this is an idea of taking baijiu out of the old traditional standards and bringing it back to like drinking in a bar or drinking at home with friends. Uh, and they do this by their product design and by creating lighter flavors that are more easy to accept by more people. Nice. All right, let's start drinking. Well, uh, baijiu tasting is definitely not limited to, you know, those little tiny baijiu cups. Mm -hmm. uh, and since YOLO is an international brand, we're going to do some tasting with some more international style cups. We have these brandy sniffers here. Uh, and the first one we'll try is YOLO. So first, I want you to check out the, the color. And you can see that it's absolutely crystal clear. Mm -hmm. There's no yellow in there. Have a sniff. The most attractive thing is the aroma. You know, that's the part that I, I really like about it. Have a try. Mmm! Wow. Yeah. It's smooth, so right? Smooth, yeah. yeah. And it's definitely right. sweet. It's easy to take. Uh, you know, it's not like what people think about Chinese baijiu. You know, I think it's not just for baijiu, but for any any uh, straight liquor, it's really easy to drink. It's, it's super smooth, and if you put this on ice and maybe add a lemon, which is my personal preference, it's, it's too easy to drink. You can drink it all night. Have a good night, too. What's next? We are going to move to the 40 degree collection. And uh, the first one of this is the S100. Yeah, I've definitely heard of this small bottle for a long time now. Um, it shows up everywhere in Chongqing. A lot of my yeah. friends really like it. Yeah. So is it popular because of the sentences on the bottle or what do you uh, think? Well, uh, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. uh, check out this cool little cover. I think uh, that, that could be it. It's always got these cool little phrases and uh, things sent in by people. From my understanding, uh, it, it, it's for sure the most popular, maybe one of the most popular by Jones in China. Uh, let's have a trace. Yes. What do you got here, Cisco? Please ask. All right, have a smell. It's not anything like the yellow, but it's, it's still a, a very attractive smell. Okay, well, let's have a try. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's delicious, yeah. actually. That's that's really great. So sweet, so sweet. Sweet and smooth, and you know, for a baijiu, it's so rare for me to drink a baijiu. That's so easy to drink. I bet it goes really well with a cocktail, right? Yeah. Let's try to make something. Okay, let's go. Cool. cool. It looks beautiful and totally harmless. 
Yeah, and uh, this trick you can find the ingredients anywhere, any bar I'll have, and you can even make it at home with normal stuff out of your home market. Nice. Mm. Okay. Have a try. What do you think? Mmm. Oh, it's fresh and sweet. It doesn't even taste like I'm drinking Baijiu. It's more like uh, like a soft drink with a mm. little bit of alcohol in it. Yeah. I feel like I could drink a lot of this. Okay, so now we'll come to our next uh, 40 degree by Joe, and this is Joy Youth, which is uh, a by Joe from Zhang Bai that takes the name Joy Youth because the distillers want to give this feeling of joy and youth in a bottle. There we go. Thank you. Less honey and more of a sugary sweet smell. Mm -hmm. You know, less of that uh, flowery sweet. so far? I think this one, yeah, it's, it's smooth. This one is a, uh, uh, mm, the aftertaste. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. It's good. I think this one is, is a much more uh, adult drink. Uh -huh. <laughs> Actually, I think this one is um, a more, I, I don't want to say manly drink, but this is a, a, stronger. a stronger drink for sure. And uh, it's got more more grown-up characteristics, I'd, I'd say. It's less playful than, than the last couple. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. What do you think? Well, that works. So, Cisco, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Do you think you could throw something together with this thing? Yeah, maybe make her stronger cocktail. Entry level. Is mm -hmm. this one stronger? Yes, I think so. Because we put a little more by Jimmy Sack. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay. I can tell it's definitely stronger in, in both smell and taste, but it's definitely still smooth. Yeah, yeah you like yeah. it, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's why we choose Junk Shop by in our bars, because our, our foreign customers and our Chinese customers alike, they can both accept it and enjoy it. It's a really easy by joke to mix with and to drink. Nice. That's just amazing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now we'll move on to our cracked selection today. And we have Black Label mm -hmm. and we have Intimate Friend. So what's the difference between these and the other Baijos that we've tried? Well, pretty much the, the craft selection, the difference is uh, most light Baijos, their, uh, their aging period is a little bit different. And we age our Baijos. Craft fighters a lot longer than the average uh, light aroma category. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah. So the difference is the craft collection represents Jin Shao Bai's like top distillation and blending skills. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, you're exactly right. Uh, and that's our next product here. This is uh, Intimate Friend. It is. Uh, it represents the top of the line by Joe. It's got high quality design and uh, product and packaging. And uh, it, the price is not too bad. It's a little bit pricey, but not too bad. Uh, this one is very, very special. So let's have a try. Here you go. Yeah. Mm. Wow. So uh, really, immediately, I start to notice a like a, a deep glutinous, like honey, honey smell, like a mm -hmm. melted honey. Not not quite like the other ones with the honey notes, but like a, a deeper, almost like a hot honey smell. Oh yeah. Wow, wow, that's really smooth. Yeah. You know, oh, it's, really good. it's really light. It's <laughs> it's really light. It reminds me of the the Yolo a bit. It's got the the very. Uh, Baijiu aroma to it uh, to let you know it, you know it's got something in there. It's got a bit higher degree, but it, it's almost as light as the mm -hmm. yellow. Yeah. Hello, what do you think? That's a uh, that's a surprise. Mm. It's good. So, Cisco, what do you think? Can we make yeah, a cocktail out of this? Yeah, maybe we can try this. Try this, Katie. 
Yeah, it's good. It has kind of a bitter taste. It's definitely stronger than the other two cocktails. Um, but it's still really smooth and comfortable. Yeah, after that, you can taste many, many meals. Yeah, definitely. I really like it. It's good. Yeah, thank you. We hope that today has been informative for drinkers and liquor fans all over the world. Chinese Baijiu has a history of thousands of years and is way more than just an ill-tasting, throat-burning, bitter liquor. We hope that you can find joy in a bottle of Baijiu. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers.